This video is for uh, ion regulator or shocker NXT regulator disassembly. Uh, it's something you're going to have to do pretty often, at least if you shoot your gun a lot. I suggest every couple cases or every couple weeks or so, um, but it doesn't hurt to do it more often than you need to. With an ion reg, the first step is to remove this black uh, rubber cover from the reg. When the cover comes off, you can take your uh, velocity adjustment wrench, which is a 5 8 and unscrew the end cap a little bit. Now what you have to do is look through this ovular cutout in the body and try to find the set screw. You have to twist it around until the set screw appears in the cutout. When it does, take a 332 inch Allen wrench and remove the set screw. The set screw has to come out before you can disassemble the rag. It's a safety screw that prevents you from uh, blowing out the regulator while it's being used. With a Shocker NXT rag, instead of removing the black rubber cover, you're going to have to remove this small rubber cover from the bottom of the regulator. This covers up the set screw hole to prevent any dirt from getting in there. But that's the only difference between the regulators. Once that screw comes out, you're going to remove the uh, adjustment end cap from the body. You have to screw it clockwise when looking down at the rag because everything is reverse threaded. So once Once the thread's disengaged, it will simply come right out. Now take your 332 inch Allen wrench again and unscrew this small set screw in the side of the rag. Now, the next step is to remove this brass disc down on the inside. It's called the spring platform. For that, you need to use a 916 inch deep well socket. Uh, a regular socket is about half this height and it won't reach all the way down in there, so you have to use the deep well version. Drop the socket in there and then unscrew the spring platform. Now again, it's reverse threaded, so you have to screw it clockwise when looking down. And it's, it's going to take about 40 threads to come out, so this is going to take a while. Once the threads disengage on the spring platform, you'll feel it a slight click, and you'll know it's all ready. Now it's about done, ready to come out. You can tip it upside down and tip the regulator upright, everything will come out. This disc is what you were unscrewing, it's called the spring platform, and this is the uh, piston spring. If you're using a shocker reg, you'll also come out with this, which is a small uh, plastic disc that's used to increase the pressure. It's not used on an ion reg, it's not used on an epiphany reg either, just a shocker reg. Now at this point, the piston will still be inside the reg body, so you need to take an Allen wrench or something, stick it down the top to get the piston out. Just gently drop it out, it will come right out. At this point, you're going to need to clean off all the grease from the piston. It's old and dirty. It's got two O-rings. And the other part you have to clean is the bottom of this adjustment end cap seals against the small urethane disc which is located on the piston which you have to make sure is not scratched or dirty. That's all ready to go. Now before you reassemble anything, you're going to take a little bit of shock or lube or Dow 33, sleek, whatever. Apply the grease to the two o-rings on the piston. Don't grease the bottom of the piston where the, rec where the base seat is. That's not what you want to do. And now you can take this and drop it down into the reg body. Gently push it down into position. Take the spring, drop it in after it. Take your uh, disc, if it's a shocker reg, drop that in. Take your deep well socket and reinsert the spring platform up into the regulator. Screwing it counterclockwise while looking down because again it's reverse threaded. And also again, this will take a long time to do since it has to go all the way down through the reg body. So Once the spring platform is tightened down, you can see through the small hole that it's right up there. Take your small set screw from the outside and, and reinsert that into position. This will tighten down the spring platform, prevent it from going anywhere. Now you're going to uh, reassemble this end cap portion. Take a little bit of grease if you want grease the outside threads. This isn't required but it helps to make sure that they're uh, slick and they don't seize up with the regulator which would cause pressure problems. Don't grease this bottom o-ring here. Leave that dry. Leave it how it is. 
and just take the end cap, screw it back into position. Everything is reverse threaded, so you're going to have to screw it uh, counterclockwise while looking down at the regulator. Once it goes in most of the way, you're going to look through the oval cutout in the reg body until the set screw hole appears. And once it's visible, you're going to reinstall the safety screw into the hole. Once that's tight, the regulator is basically all finished and ready to go. Except at this point, the velocity will be pretty high since the pressure output's pretty high. So you can continue screwing this in until uh, until it hits the bottom. Then you can back it out a little bit. At this point, it'll be at about 100 psi, maybe 50, somewhere in between there. You can put it on your gun and air it up, and increase the pressure from there. Um, the reason I suggest doing this is just to prevent overpressurizing the gun when you first uh, screw the regulator on. You can take a couple dry firing shots to uh, distribute the grease throughout the piston and make sure everything's working right. And after that you'll be ready to go.